Today on Review This Thing, we're gonna show you how to make a 12 volt battery box for your cellular trail cameras. This is Robbie with Review This Thing. And if you're anything like us, you spent a lot of money on AA batteries for trail cameras. Most of the cellular ones take eight to 12 batteries and need changing every month to two months. We've used solar panels and that's helped extend battery life, but we saw these 12 volt battery boxes and thought, wow, that would be great if these worked. Basically, there's a solar panel that sits on the outside of the box supplying a trickle charge to this 12 volt battery, which then powers your trail camera. Most people are saying that you can get about eight to 12 months out of these boxes. The cameras that we're gonna put them on are quite a few hours away and we're hoping that they can stay running pretty much all year. Let's get going. All this stuff that I have here, I bought all of it on Amazon, except for the battery box. This box I got at Harbor Freight, mainly because the 12 volt battery fits perfectly and it has a rubber gasket around the top. Hoping that that's gonna keep moisture out. I'm cutting these boards to go in the bottom of the boxes, mainly because I don't want the battery sitting completely in the very bottom, just in case there would be any water that happens to get in there somehow. And hopefully, It'll just take up a little bit of room. My plan is to put three in the bottom so the battery sits up just a little bit. So I was able to get this styrofoam that actually came in the battery box to just slip down on one side to offer a little bit of padding that way. Next step is getting some of these wires in there. All this wire is included, hardware included down here. We're gonna have a wire going in from the solar panel to the battery and then we're gonna have a wire coming out from the battery to the trail camera. The solar panels that I ordered have this stainless steel looking wire here and I'm really hoping that that helps protect them from not only the elements but mainly from raccoons and squirrels that would want to chew on it. It comes with these connectors that are just going to slide right onto the battery and then these connectors that will fold down into place like that and the wire that goes out the box to the trail camera will clip right onto that. That my friends looks pretty amazing. I just took this wire clamp off, which is meant to secure it in between the box. So one goes outside the box, one goes inside the box. And there's this neat little O-ring right there. So that O-ring is gonna go on the outside and I'm gonna pull it tight. So that O-ring squishes up against the outside of the box and keeps even more moisture out. So I used a 3 8 inch drill bit and a 5 16 inch drill bit. Now I'm gonna clean up the edges of that, mainly just so it's a little bit easier so the caulk will actually stick to it. And now we're gonna try to feed this wire in there. Oh yeah, perfect. While I've got that off, I'm gonna go ahead and feed these in there. I'm gonna leave a bunch of this wire outside the box because this is the wire that goes to the camera. Just to show you guys how it's all gonna connect up, that's gonna slide onto the terminal there. That's gonna slide onto the terminal there. That's gonna slide into there. That's gonna slide into there. Negative, negative, positive to positive. I wish I had a good way to secure this. Let me go see. Oh, I got, I got, I know what I got. I'm gonna use this strapping material to keep the wire to the trail camera in place. Oh yeah, that'll secure that down and it doesn't move much at all. Obviously, you don't have to put all this strapping material in there, but I'm just hoping that it really keeps it much more secure. That's that. Should just be able to caulk next. I don't know about you guys, but I pretty much always need paper towels whenever I've got caulk. I am not a professional caulker at all. Kudos to those of you that do. Ah, see what I mean? My plan is to use this essentially to hopefully keep wooden pieces in place. All right, now the goal is fill this hole right here. I can set the battery back in there now. That's gonna help hold those pieces down to steady where they are. Get the panels mounted to the outside and they'll be done. I'm gonna go grab a trail camera and we're gonna plug into it and see if the trail camera will come on. There's different cords that plug into the 12 volt system here. So make sure you get the cord that fits your camera. This is a Tacticam Reveal X 2.0. To test and see if this actually works, we're gonna use the regular AA housing with no batteries installed. It has an external port that this cord will plug right into. If this system is actually gonna work, we should be able to turn the camera on and you'll see these lights come on. Yes! 
you can see the battery indicator has four lights right there. Now, when these are in the field, we're gonna leave this lithium cartridge in there. Essentially, this 12 volt is gonna run the whole system at first. And if the 12 volt ever does actually die because the solar panel is not keeping it charged enough, then the camera will still run off of this. All right, that does it for today. Next step, we'll see you in the woods. By the magic of television, we have now been transported to the property where we're gonna put these battery boxes up. The caulk inside is all set up. Everything's nice and stable. I'm really pleased with how this box turned out. Let's get it installed. We're on a hilltop, so I'm not worried about this box getting wet. There's no way this area is gonna flood. We're in a spot right now where it's gonna get plenty of sun, so the solar panel should keep the 12 volt battery charged. And who knows, maybe a year later, this thing's still working. So we're gonna connect the wires, make sure everything is a go. I essentially just want it up off the ground enough, hopefully, so that nothing will mess with it. I want to make sure this strap doesn't get on those wires. All right, we're going to tighten this sucker down. Like I said, basically just trying to get it up off the ground enough to keep any animals from messing with it, hopefully, but that's kind of stupid because any animal that would mess with it could easily mess with it at this height. Just makes me feel better because I was planning on strapping it to the tree, so now it's strapped to the tree. I'm going to plug it in. Plug there, we're plugged there. Solar panel getting some right there. Go ahead and switch that sucker on. Good news is the camera's definitely working off of that battery. Should have just gotten a picture, hopefully. And we did. Well, there you have it. Hopefully now you can build your very own 12 volt battery box and save some money on trail camera batteries. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Comment below and let us know if you've used a 12 volt battery box and how it's worked out for you. If you really like what we do, hit subscribe so you don't miss any videos. We have a new one coming out once a week, every Sunday. Don't forget to check us out on social media. Go to our website, reviewthisthingtv.com, and sign up for our newsletter. As always, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching our video showing you how to build a 12 volt battery box. While you're here, like it, share it. Make sure you tell your friends all about us. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. And you can also head over to our website, reviewthisthingtv.com, subscribe to our newsletter, and go shopping. Also, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok.